it is always tricky trying to film in the car. We have uh, my cell phone kind of rested on the steering wheel in a very precarious manner. Today what we're doing is a Rocky Patel 2003. This is a junior. It's not a very big size. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? There's the cigar. There's a box store lighter. Um, actually, I have an even better point of reference. It's a pack of wooden matches. So you can see it's not that long. It's about, a, I think they're four inches long, four and a quarter. The ring gauge is, I think, uh, 34 or 36. It's a small ring gauge. Now, these guys come in little tins, and the tins, this is not the same tin for this cigar, but they look like this. You'll get five of them in there, uh, depending on where you shop. There's somewhere right, anywhere between 20 and $40. That's just what we're gonna be uh, enjoying today. But first, I have some errands to run, and uh, when I come back from the errands, we'll do a little lighting. A little, a little lighting, yes, a little lighting. Lighting the cigar and uh, a little talk about it, and uh, right. carry on with the rest of our weekend. Back to the cigar, the Rocky Patel 2003. It's a Cameroon wrapper. It's not bad. It's pretty complicated. These little guys are hand rolled long filler. So, this video at this point, I've been filming for about 10 minutes. I don't know if that whole 10 minutes makes it to the uh, you know internet because I do edit these videos down. It's 10 minutes and I'm not even a quarter of the way through it. So, one of these is about a 30 or 40 minute smoke. Because they're so small, the tobacco's jammed in there so much, you can smoke it pretty quickly and you might regret it. This is the second time around that I've gotten the 2003s. They're pretty good, not as good as the 92s, but it's a nice like mid-grade smoke and I got these ones because for my friends who aren't uh, as um, enthusiastic for tobaccos, you know, just having a a little smoke one day. This is a pretty approachable um, cigar that doesn't suck. It's not gonna be filling you with those nasty flavor profiles. It's a really good thing to give to like a beginner. And the, the, the Robustos of these sit around 20 bucks. These guys, depending on where you buy them, you know, uh, the packs are anywhere between about 25 and $40. So you could be paying, you know, five bucks for one, or you could be paying nine bucks for one, depending on where you buy it. Now, I uh, I don't mind. I actually do like a, a big old Robusto, but typically I only really want those uh, if I have good company. The weather's nice. I'm gonna be out for a long time. And I will smoke Robustos in the winter, but I'll do like short filler Robustos, right? Like the kind that you can smoke in 30 or 40 minutes they're you know three to seven bucks and if it's too cold and too nasty out you put the scar out you don't feel guilty about it that kind of thing do i have anything else to say about this particular cigar other than i like small cigars i'm a pretty skinny guy I'm like 5'9", I only weigh about 150 pounds, so the nicotine can, can hammer me pretty hard. Little cigars like this, a nice size, it's a nice time, not going to feel sick. Something this size is perfect for me. One of the things I've noticed about Rocky Patel cigars is it doesn't matter which one, what price point you're in, uh, the Rocky Patels seem to always uh, have a bit of a, a signature to them. The signature is almost like a, a barrel note 
that you'll find in whiskey or scotch. And then there's like this uh, cereal note, like Shreddies. And that seems to be almost in every Rocky Patel I smoke, which is nice because it's like the cigar itself and the brand has an identity. Now, I don't know where the binders and wrappers and fillers are from in this cigar. I could go over that stuff and I can find it. But most likely what I'll do, like I do in most of these videos, is I just leave a link below and you can go check it out yourself. We're about halfway through here and I, uh, I made the cardinal sin of smoking a cigar and driving. And that is I did not take the band off before I lit it. So I ended up having to pull over to take the band off. Just trying to fiddle with taking a band off. And that's not safe driving. So basically we started on the first third. It was nice. It was more of those cereal notes. We got into the middle. We started getting into more of that, uh, like I said, that burnt barrel note. That's gone. And now we're into the complexity. Now we're into the deep malt. Now we're into a little bit of fruit. Now we're into rich smoked meat. Um, the thing about Rocky Patel is you always get a nice level of complexity for a very reasonable price. I swear the amount of times I talk about Rocky Patel cigars and I speak highly of them, the guy should be paying me for it. Uh, I probably, my three brands that I go to a lot of the time are Drew Estate, Rocky Patel, and Arista. Rocky Patel for that mid-range, mid decent smoke. Drew Estate when I want to be really fancy, but even Drew Estate has some budget-friendly stuff. They got like their factory smokes. Their Undercrown's about 20 bucks. T52 is pretty expensive in Canada. I like those. And then when I want the super budget stuff, Arista and uh, any one of those brands on the budget level, Arista, move up to the middle, Rocky Patel, go up a little further to Drew Estate. I think any one of those brands and you're going to get a pretty enjoyable smoking experience. Um, as we can see, we lost a nice camera angle. So you know what that means. It's going to be the end of the video. My name is James. Every now and then I like to call myself the Clever Peasant. This is my channel. I like to call it my little home for smoke and fine spirits. If you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe. And if I bored you to death, you can always do me one favor. Take the time. Take a breath. Take it easy, man. Life is short. Sometimes you gotta slow it down to make it feel right.